Radon's everywhere. It's in the air we breathe, whether we're at home, in the office, or out of doors. And because it's radioactive, every bit of radon we breathe in gives us a bit of radiation exposure. But fortunately, there's a lot we can do to find out about our radon exposure and to control it. Radon is formed by the natural breakdown of uranium in the ground. And because it's a gas, it can escape up through the soil. Buildings act a bit like chimneys and they can draw in the radon from the ground. We get most of our radon exposure when we're indoors, whether at home or at work. And most buildings have got low levels, but some buildings have got high levels of radon and that's why it's so important to think about radon in your home. Because radon is a radioactive gas, we breathe it in and it can damage the cells in our body, particularly the sensitive cells of the lungs. If this happens, it can cause lung cancer, and every year a thousand people die from a radon-related lung cancer. That's why it's so important to take action. Over the past 30 years, we've made radon measurements up and down the country in homes and workplaces. We've taken over half a million of those measurements, combined it with information about local geology to produce the radon map of the UK. That map shows us where high radon levels are more likely in villages, towns and cities. The darker areas of the map show where the problem is most intense, so we can see that across England the counties of the southwest have got quite a problem. Then there's a band of radon affected areas going up through the country, taking in places like the Cotswolds, Northamptonshire, Lincolnshire, Derbyshire and right up through the Pennines and parts of Scotland including parts of Aberdeenshire, the Orkneys and Shetland. We have also found that much of Wales is affected by radon, as are some parts of Northern Ireland. When we think about measuring radiation, we think about Geiger counters clicking away. But with radon, we use a simple detector like one of these. It's about the shape and size of a biscuit, and it's made of plastic. When you measure radon in your home, you put one of these in the living room and another in the bedroom, and then you just leave them for three months. Then you post them back to us. When we receive them, we analyse them and we work out how much radon there is in your home. Most homes have low levels of radon, perhaps this much. If your home's got a high level of radon, maybe this much, that's ten times more, we recommend you should do something about it. Over the years we've found more than 50,000 homes where action was needed, so high radon levels aren't that unusual and it's easy to get your radon fixed. With radon, it's best to know what you're dealing with. That's why we want everybody to check the radon maps to see if they are at risk. To find out more, visit our website or search online for UK Radon.